Is everybody immortal? I think so. Okay, now André and Bertrand are supposed to stay alone facing the aeroplane for a last picture. Thank you very much. So everybody's back to their seat. I would say to the photographers, you'll have a good opportunity later on to shoot at the airplane on an excellent location. So don't worry. Okay, now back to you, Berta. Thank you. The Solar Impulse Project is not only an airplane, it's also a message. You have discovered the airplane today. Please also take the message back home and spread it as far as you can. We can have a good quality of life in this world. We can solve the financial crisis. We can fight poverty. And we can protect the environment. Only by inventing the future with enough pioneering spirit. The technological solutions already exist. Please don't listen to people who say it's not possible, that we need more innovation, more development before we can have it on the market. No, the solutions exist. We need desperately political courage, ambitious visions, in order to force the implementations of the solutions we already have through smart regulations and ambitious incentives. The European Commission decided to become a patron of Solar Impulse and we are already invited around the world to participate to numerous conferences and forums like the one in Abu Dhabi with the Swiss delegation. It's clear that we would like to be part of this debate and we are glad that Solar Impulse has already become a symbol of the spirit the society needs to change the mentalities. We're happy to welcome Moritz Leuenberger. You are the Minister of Energy, Communication, Transport and Environment. Four things that are important today. <laughs> and we would like to ask you what you believe is the biggest obstacle for governments and political and parties to make our society more sustainable. Ja, die größten Hindernisse sind in unseren verknorzten Köpfen und in unseren engen Herzen. An all den Zweiflern, die nicht glauben, dass der Mensch etwas bewegen kann, dass wir eine Gestaltungskraft haben, dass die Vernunft etwas bewirken kann. Ich erlebe das immer wieder selber als Verkehrsminister. Es gibt Leute, die sagten immer wieder, es ist nicht möglich, einen Tunnel durch die Alpen zu bohren. Und es ist vielleicht ein Zufall, dass ich vor wenigen Tagen die vorletzte Etappe des größten Basistunnels der Welt eröffnet äh, habe. Und ich habe dort gesagt, wir können es, weil wir es wollen. Dasselbe bei diesem Flugzeug. Ich selbst habe es ja gehört, wie mir Leute gesagt haben, es ist nicht möglich. Sie irren sich, sie sollen hierher kommen, sie, der Beweis steht hier vor uns. Ich erlebe es auch als Energieminister. Es gibt immer noch Leute, die sagen, Solarenergie ist eine kleine Nische für alternative Spinner, die wirklichen Probleme der Zukunft wird sie nicht lösen. 
Sie irren sich, sie sollen hierher kommen, der Beweis des Gegenteils steht da. Und ich erlebe es auch als Umweltminister. Es gibt immer noch Leute, die sagen, nein, die Klimaerwärmung ist nicht auf die Menschen zurückzuführen. Wir können die Klimaerwärmung nicht stoppen. Sie irren sich, der Beweis steht hier. Sie sollen hier hinkommen. Und diese Flügel der Hoffnung geben uns Mut, in Kopenhagen eine Lösung zu finden. Und sie geben uns auch Mut, in dieser Krise nicht einfach wieder in die alten Normen zurückzufallen, sondern unsere Welt nachhaltig zu verändern. Wir können es, wenn wir wollen. You are you are an excellent ambassador of solar impulse and by the words you said the audience can understand that our project belongs to all the people like you who would like to change something as it belongs to prince albert and his uh, foundation as it belongs to jean louis etienne one of our patrons also and as it belongs to all the people of goodwill thank you very much moise inberger We have heard from Mr. Leuenberger that it's really a question of will. I mean, we know that we're not going to fly passengers with a solar airplane in the near future. But we also know that we need to change, that we have to have the will to change. Not only because of climate reason, but certainly because of the question of depletion of natural resources and the ever-increasing price of fossil energy. Giovanni Bisignani, you are the CEO of IATA. IATA is the International Air Transport Association, and you have set a very ambitious, ambitious goal for your organization. Zero polluting emission by 2050 for air transport. How do you think this is possible, and how do you see the contribution of Solar Impulse? It's wonderful to be here and see this wonderful bird. As you may remember, two years ago, in our AGM in Vancouver, I shocked the industry, presenting a very clear vision. An industry carbon-free in 50 years, on the way to, with a step in carbon neutral growth. And that's the reason that when we spoke together with Bertrand and Andred, I said, this fits perfectly with a vision. And two weeks ago, we took a big commitment. In Kuala Lumpur, in our AGM, we set a target for the industry, 2020 carbon neutral growth. This is the first industry in the world that takes such a clear and bold commitment. And we in Ayata stick with our targets you know about electronic ticketing. We took away 700 million tickets from 200 countries on time. So, I'm very pleased to be here because this is a great, great event. First of all, because it shows to the world that carbon-free flight is possible. So they will not say anymore, Giovanni is crazy. It is, can be done. And so, Ayada is proud of our partnership I wish you all the best, and I'm sure that it will be a great, great success for the environment, for the world, and for the industry. Thank you very much, Bertrand, and thank you very much, André. Thank you, Giovanni. Thank you, Giovanni. Thank you. Thank you.